You know, a common theme in the comment sections of my post on uh, social media and YouTube is, man, these girls are awful friends because in real life, you know, what kind of friends would hang out with the fiance of my ex? And that's a very, very, very logical stance to have. But the question is this. It, it's kind of like, <laughs> I know people want to hate, you know, want to make comic book references, but here's the thing. In DC Comics, you know, Gotham City, riddled with crime from the streets to the police station, the city hall, every crevice, every crack in the street itself is just filled with evil, murderous psychopaths. Why in the world would anyone in their right mind live, live in Gotham City that is constantly under threat from Scarecrow, Joker, Riddler, Mr. Freeze and whatnot? It must be cheap as hell to live there. So it's like, why would you go there? Why don't you just move somewhere else? I feel like the same could be applied to the logic of, well, if Karen feels her friends are so bad for interacting with Fatima, despite how it makes her feel, why doesn't she just go somewhere else? She, why doesn't she just go make new friends? And I feel like the main reason why is this. Technically two, but I feel like there's one reason above the other. Uh, reason number two. The fact that, you know, she doesn't feel like it's fair. She's the one who has been friends with these girls for years. And yet you have this woman, Fatima, who just pops up and all of a sudden everybody's cool with her taking her side over Karen's and, you know, this, that, and the third. So she doesn't feel like she should do anything else to warrant you know, um, making quote unquote better friends, those who side with her. But the number one reason is the fact that she needs them because, well, most of them, mainly Andy, she needs them because she wants stuff from them. Not only allegiance, but she, the resources, because let, 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 let's be blunt here. If not for Andy, Karen would not have this new salon. If not for Andy, Karen would not have this new salon. Now, you could argue that maybe, just maybe, the business loan she took out from the bank would have been enough to, I guess you could say, repair the old one that was set on fire or purchase the new building. But she would have gone bankrupt due to the fact that there's no way in the world she would have had the money to cover the equipment and all this stuff that she's, you know, dealing with right now. I don't think Karen knows anyone else personally with the money that Andy does that could cut her a check so she could buy her salon. I just feel like she only, and w not just me, but a lot of fans have noticed this for years now. Karen only wants, you know, minions. She only keeps people around if they're useful to her. And that's why she feels betrayed and doesn't want to just go out and make new friends. I think that's one of the main reasons why Karen just doesn't up and leave. Because, I mean, even though she doesn't have to be friends with Andy anymore, she doesn't want to. She still owes her money. So, I mean, yeah, she could not just she could just not be friends with Andy and only communicate with her when she's touching base to give her a piece of, you know, the loan she, you know, lent her to get the salon fixed up. But I do feel like uh, she only interacts with these people because she's in a vulnerable situation with these kids and whatnot. And she's kind of on her own, but that's by her own choice. You know, how many times has she constantly said, Zach, you know what? I don't want you taking care of our baby, this, that, and the third. But then, you know, in the same breath, she was like, Fatima, you got some nerve trying to keep Zach from taking care of our child or our children. But it's like, which one is it? Karen doesn't want friends. She wants people to bow down to her to do what she wants them to do. I need money. I need somebody to help me with my salon. I need somebody to, you know, take care of these kids. And that's all she wants these people around for. That's what it boils down to. And like I said, throughout season seven, Pam might blow up. Roots to Riches might blow her up to the point where she can't be around the salon anymore because she will have to focus all of her time and energy into her own business. And if that happens, she's really screwed because now Karen's going to be like, oh man, the person I used to push around all the time, I never knew how much I needed her. 
until she was gone. So I think that uh, Karen is in danger because at every opportunity she's had to adjust to Fatima being around or letting go of Zach to allow a man like Aaron to take care of her, she just opted to focus on the past as opposed to the changes that have been happening in her life or will be coming into her life within the next couple of months, you know, especially when the babies are born. So, yeah, I don't really know what Karen's thinking, but she should have been either made new friends or just focused more on herself. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Why hang out with these friends if, you know, you feel like they betrayed you? Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.